How will Jupiter and Capricorn speak to you and your sign? Find out at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. It is in the middle of the month, right around December the 12th, that we will have this month's full moon. Now, this full moon will be taking place in a very communicative part of your sky. But here's the thing. It is going to be speaking with Neptune in a connection of tension. And what that suggests is unclear messages, miscommunication. In fact, I do think a lot of us are going to feel like we've stepped into a Mercury retrograde for just a brief moment, but for you, it's going to be that much more likely. If there are important conversations that need to be had, I would encourage you to focus more on the earlier days of the month to do so. It is also possible at this time that you hear some news of a sibling, cousin, or neighbor. Maybe it is that they're making some choice or decision in their life that feels difficult to understand. Or maybe it is that there's some confusion around these people, whether they're coming or going or what's going on there. You will find that clarity. The clarity is coming. It's just the days around the full moon a little bit blurry for a lot of people out there. So if there are important conversations, especially with these people that you need to have, I would encourage you to maybe not do it right at the full moon. It is also possible because of the energy of confusion that one of these people is not being as straightforward with you as you may like. The time for clarity will come, especially later in the month, but at least around this full moon. Give other people space where possible. You'll probably be that much more glad for it. And I would also add for you not to sign any important documents or contracts around the middle of the month. But of course, the very big news, among the very big news is this month, is Jupiter. Jupiter will change signs early in the month, right around the 2nd of December, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, moving into the very top of your sky. Now, I did talk about how this is gonna bless your life in terms of career, social standing, life purpose, and so much more in the Jupiter special horoscope. So be on the lookout uh, for that, especially for the collective, on YouTube in the first days of December. But if you want to know how this is going to bless you and how good it can actually be, just wait till we get late in the month. Right around Christmas Day, we are going to have an eclipse. This is the other really big, big news. It is a powerful solar eclipse. And this eclipse is happening hand in hand with Jupiter. So normally, just the sun meeting Jupiter in the sky is considered the luckiest day of the year. But here we have the sun in the midst of a solar eclipse meeting Jupiter in the sky. This amps up the power of this very meeting. It amps up the luck that much more as well. Now, I would say, because this is blessing the very top of your sky, this is all about new opportunities seemingly coming out of nowhere, new alignments where it comes to a higher, more loving vision for your life, and truly, in a sense, opportunities that feel karmic. That's kind of how eclipses work. And so we are going to have the solar eclipse, and it represents big new opportunities for you big blessings for you, whether it is that you are in an interview, audition situation, promotion situation, whether it is that you're hoping to align with an inner feeling of knowing that you're on the path towards your life purpose. Well, it is this solar eclipse that is going to make it very, very clear which way it is that your direction lies. With eclipses, it is important not to work with them necessarily, right? It's more about being open because the universe sometimes can have really surprising pathways to bring blessings to you. And in this case, the surprises really are pronounced with a solar eclipse like this. And this will begin eclipse season. That'll take us right into the new year. So I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way, of course. 
But just know that that period between eclipses, the veil between the worlds is especially thin, and it's that much easier to recognize the spiritual lessons playing out in your life. Yes, there is this powerful symbol of success happening for you uh, in the second part of the month with this solar eclipse, not to mention, of course, a 12 plus month cycle of Jupiter moving through the very top of your sky as well. But if you keep the spiritual lessons at the forefront, it's interesting how you actually help yourself most to maximize the practical opportunities that will be available to you. Where it comes to matters of love, Venus is spending the first three weeks of this month at the very top of your sky. And so love seems to be really consequential, very big picture for you. And you're thinking largely of your goals where it comes to matters of love. But it is right after that, that Venus will move into a very social part of your sky. This is such a great placement to have as you're ending one year and entering really another decade is what we're entering because it does suggest that you'll be surrounded by people who genuinely enjoy your company and that includes in love as well if you're open to meeting someone new it is this move of venus into this very friendly part of your sky that makes it so that the lines between friendship and love start to blur so it is possible that a friend could become more at this time or you may meet somebody through a friend that feels like a special connection for those of you just getting to know somebody having venus move into uh, this friendly part of the sky can be very very nice for feeling a sense of being able to bring this person into your social circle, you being a part of their social circle. It is in that space that love is able to blossom. And for those of you in an established bond, I absolutely love Venus's move <laughs> in the second part of the month. To me, that suggests that you and your partner are truly enjoying each other's company in the presence of others there might be some really nice events that the two of you are attending together and this ultimately helps to fortify the bond that the two of you share what i love about this month for you well look i love the very big news of jupiter moving into the very top of your sky there are truly beautiful alignments set to take place right around the middle of the month it is going to be Jupiter speaking with Uranus in a rare, supremely harmonious alignment. And then, of course, that particular solar eclipse. Well, it tells me that your pathway upward is accelerating now with at least one big success that you feel really excited about. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.